is the pipe in question. This is the one with the crazy skulls on there. It's all done up in poly oh, not polymer clay. I painted the design on here using acrylic paints. And then I came in with more detail using rhinestones, if you can see that. And, um, and then what I did was I um, applied two coats of Mod Podge on top so that the rhinestones won't fall off. And the paint design will stay on there and it won't chip off. So the, the Mod Podge also makes the uh, paint and rhinestones um, water resistant. But not waterproof so don't submerge this pipe in water i wouldn't advise that it's a tribal pipe i feel like it's something that you feel special every time you're you're smoking your herb in this pipe you'll feel like you're connected to um the spirit realm it's a spiritual experience i feel when you smoke a pipe smoke out of a, a pipe of your own or even a bong of your own so one of these days we'll make a bamboo or if my husband gets a hold of enough bamboo he could make a bamboo bong to, to sell that that would be cool because he's made a he's made i think two all together bamboo bongs that were really nice so <clears throat> so you got to be really careful with the bamboo because you don't want it to get wet you don't want to be out in the sun too long because it'll crack so but yeah that's what I'm going to be putting up on my shop after I uh, finish talking to you guys. And remember, when you purchase something from my shop, you get uh, a free handmade gift, as always. So this will definitely fit into this bag. It's a ridiculously thick, <laughs> thick thing, but it will fit in there. And it'll be wrapped in a plastic bag and, and a little bit, maybe some sort of bubble wrap type of thing. That way... The, that is protected. I, I, I mail these off really well protected. So look, you can stuff it all the way in there and it fits in there. See, even with the plastic bag, it fits in there. It's totally snug as a pipe and a rug. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to be ending this video. It's getting hot like a sauna in here. And I want to go ahead and post this. So it should be up on my shop within the hour so and check out the other things i have up there i have a lot of other goodies that are really really affordable so um my art is ridiculously cheap in comparison to how it would be if i had it in an art gallery so you're getting you know you're getting a lot of discounts discounts galore so be aware of that because then you're also getting free a free gift or two in there I say or two because <laughs> I'm trying to lighten the load over here so help me out if you can <laughs> is there anything else I want to show you guys let's see I think that's about does it for today and what I wanted to say because I'm going to be sharing all of what I create too on these other platforms because it's a part of my creativity and what cannabis helps me with is to mellow out and to be pain free so that I can create because I'm an artist um, who likes to create every day. So yeah, um, I wanted to show you guys one more thing because it's so fun. It's a Sunday and it's a little bit low key. So show you guys one more thing. Give you a sampling of like some of the recycle, upcycle type of work that I do that I'm working on. This is that one upcycle, recycled. Uh, Kind of like a hippie type of uh, dress, or a ceremonial dress for that matter. That's how that's coming along. This is what I've been working on mainly is the back of the dress. But yeah, it's all using recycled fabrics. And I've been really into embroidery. Embroidery really calms me and mellows me out. So I might be working on this a little bit later on today. And I'll keep you updated on this because once I finish this dress, I'm going to sell it. So I definitely do need to put a zipper on the side so that it fits, you know, however, whatever size it's supposed to fit. It's, uh, it's interesting. I tried it on to see how it fits. And it fits kind of like it needs a zipper on the side. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm winging it with this. And it's my first, not my first time, but I have 
a few more projects like this that I started that I work on it when I feel it, feel the energy of this this um, article of clothing. So, yeah. Seems like it would be good for the winter time because, you know, if you want to dress in layers, it's kind of like in layers. But yeah, kind of, I guess people would consider it like uh, almost tribal in the fact that there's that goddess figure in, on the inside of there with the star and then um, the hand embroidered faces I have is beads, fabric beads on there, so yeah. I want to put more of those on here. Uh, I just have to make more. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, I have a lot of art to give, so feel free to stop by my shop at www.darkmoondoll.etsy.com and you'll be able to see all of what I have in store to offer. Oh shit, it stopped already. What the fuck? 